mental our mental uh it's in a good place and um, i'm so happy that there's so many people that are wanting to go back to learn learning cree and learning our beautiful languages because cree is just one of the many languages that we have in canada as we know and turtle island right so i think um just an overview of uh what we're going to talk about and uh, through these uh, all this all these classes is going to be a mixture we're going to like sing some songs um we're going to uh, learn how to introduce ourselves because that's number one thing is like uh, whenever you meet new people and you throw in a little bit of Cree, you're kind of like all of a sudden a rock star status. You're like, whoa, what the heck did that person just say? Right. So the interest peaks and the interest peaks and they want to know who you are and then uh, where you're from. And then, of course, and here's uh, somebody in Texas, somebody logging in from all over. And they say, Behind every tree is a Cree. <laughs> <laughs> and just check out the chat, and it, uh, that's the proof right there. So thank you for the, these little ones, these little cute ones that are logging in. Uh, I just love this. And um, and let's start out. In a yeah. And uh, we'll start out in a quick, small little prayer. Maybe he's waving at them. Um, Start out that way. I think that's a good way to start um, sort of the beginning of everything. And please uh, join me in, in communal prayer real quick. It will be just a nice little short one, but uh, uh, to be genuine and to be true to who we are. Um, uh, and uh, we'll pray to our language. We'll pray to technology, make sure it works. And also uh, our learning as well for our minds and our spirits and our bodies to, to take in all, all the teachings, right? Because there's lots, there's so much out there. And uh, I think um, uh, this hour is going to go by so fast. Okay, so I'll get right, right into this. So I have, um, I always um, try to smudge all the time with sweet grass or else a, a, a certain smudge that we'll put together. Sages are good. Uh, sweet grass is good, of course, and uh, whatever you can find, it's always good to, to practice that way. But um, again, it's just making sure the space is, is good for learning, right? So uh, please join me real quick. Ipnihio, <laughs> Big school, Kagimia, Queska Pachita, Kawinchimitama, Kawixna Maoswea, Nihion, Hai Hai Maitia. So thank you. Uh, um, and uh, again, for logging in, um, for joining us, you know, uh, for this little time. And uh, what I want to do is uh, because there's just kind of like a mixture. Um, but what we'll do is we'll we'll start out with the talking circle virtual. But no, just kidding. There's I just look 300 people. Oh, just imagine we'll be here tomorrow. We'll be just oh yes, okay. <laughs> no, but we'll get right into it. So I prepared a, a small little PowerPoint there, and uh, what I wanted to do was um, I wanted to make sure, and I kind of figured because of uh, other classes that we do put on. We have a mixture, a real such a nice mixture of different language learners. And look at these little ones, uh, the young ones, and the all different ages. We're all starting at this one point, and it's a communal point. And we want to make sure we we try to normalize this, right? And again, um, you ha we have to talk about um, the residential schools, what they did, and what the, you know, uh, and the historical impact. Sixty scoop. Um, adults really wanting to learn the language, but then also these little ones that are logged in with the parents, with the with the guardians and uh, to normalize language, right? Nihion. And again, uh, I was getting some messages from all over Western uh, Canada and maybe beyond, but um, this was blowing up all over the place. So a buddy of mine's like, oh, they're more, you went viral. I'm like, what, what do you mean? And uh, 
So again, um, this is testament to uh, how much language learning that we want to learn. But I want to focus in on, uh, because it's Northern Alberta, uh, I am going to uh, probably most likely try to target uh, that area. But, but I want to also uh, let you know that I did spend time in Northern Saskatchewan, and I live in Northern Saskatchewan, but also in Swampy Cree territory. So Ngaskun um, Kaimian, right? So again, I, I know how to speak the Swampy Cree, uh, I can do that as well, but then also Kanihioyan. So uh, we'll go through the dialectal differences. And then um, and then I can't say I am fluent in L dialect or R dialect, but I think I if I s spend enough time, I can probably pick it up uh, and all of us can pick it up, right? So again, I'll just jump right into my PowerPoint because look at this already 12 after. I knew this is, uh, this is such a special day. I'm so honored for everybody to log in. Um, and uh, again, I was, uh, oh, that's not the one I wanted to share. It's this one right here. So I'm gonna stop sharing and then we'll open that up again. And it's this one here that I wanted to share. So this is the one that I wanted to, uh, I wanted to um, open up with. And again, these will be, um, they will be available uh, somehow, some way. I'm not sure where we're going to put them, um, but I'll leave that into uh, the hands of uh, Diane, who made this event uh, very possible, along with, uh, of course, the team and the IT that's uh, logged in here. So welcome to Introduction to Cree. All right, so I'm just going to go really quickly through the introduction um, and then just get everybody on the same page. So first off, um, you heard me in, in the prayer, I said, Mamo Tawi Mao. So this is the creator. This is the creator. And uh, I'd like to thank the creator for giving us this space, giving us this time, giving us this experience on this earth walk. Um, so again, so giving creator thanks, but then also giving thanks to Mamo Kawiwawa, the, the mother of everything, every uh, living thing that grows, um, the birds that fly, uh, the, the water creatures, right? Um, the half beings, um, all the beautiful mysteries of this earth that we still haven't really fully known the, the depth of, uh, you know, the, the oceans and the, the peaks of these mountains and these caves and these mysterious beautiful mother earth right so mamo kawi mao so these are two original um they're a part of our creation story they're a part of who we are and we always have to give uh, acknowledgments because it's what the elders did right and so again um i am very very uh, honored but also i i always say this i'm very lucky language and I know not uh, like that's not a, the story of a lot of our of our people, right? So we're trying to find identity, and then uh, what, what what perfect way to start uh, from a smudge and a prayer, and also just acknowledging sort of like that big long creation story, and then all of a sudden, right at the tail end is the two leggeds, and that's us, right? So uh, just how much how much we acknowledge those elders and why they pray for us. So digagi simuya. Right, the gagi simuya, meaning we're pr we prayed in communal prayer. Uh, so thank you for that. Now, going to uh, the the dialects. Okay, so this was a question, um, and lots of uh, questions uh, on the poster that went out. They were asking, "Well, what what are the dialects? Uh, what what do you mean by dialects?" I thought Cree was just Cree, right? But within the Cree, um, there's five different dialects. But I'm gonna say there's more. Um, because when I spent time with the Innu uh, out in Labrador, um, out in the out east, I was like, what? They're speaking Cree. Like, I understand these, what they're speaking. And then it was so cool because they're really fluent in French. But then when they switched into Cree, we could understand each other, you know. But then when they switched to French, I was like, oh, I don't understand what you just said. Switch over to Cree. So, again, um, how far and wide we are, and then um, uh, south as well, right? Uh, the, our southern relatives there. Uh, across the medicine line, 
um you know in montana we have cree people down there as well so we have relatives down there so and as we know in the chat we have relatives even way further that are kind of you know moved down there for whatever reasons but um must be nice and warm over there and then for the ones that are in winnipeg or manitoba area stay off the roads and i'm glad that you guys are logged in here and not on the roads because we we're just in saskatoon some of you guys are in regina saskatoon that area oh man which means it was snowing but it was thus uh when we were looking outside the window it was snowing this way wow eh, that was a big storm so again uh the resiliency um the uh the winters and uh how we speak right and again thinking about this this weather we ask each other how old are you right and it's kind of sometimes you don't want to ask right but it's uh and of course um uh we ask like this right uh is winter and it means uh how many winters are you how many winters have you made it through? That's how we ask in Cree, right? And again, another thing that we do in Cree that unifies us, right, is that we don't have a goodbye. There's no goodbye. And you're going to see at the end, uh, towards the end of this um, PowerPoint that I kind of quickly put together, uh, we say, or it's like, we're going to see each other again, right? We're going to see each other again. So again, if you see um, uh, Diane's background or um, I see Debbie's background, which is actually probably where I, I'd like to focus on is if you go outside and I just was outside really quick just to go outside and kind of have a look, the uh, Northern Lights are going to be dancing tonight, tomorrow and uh, the, the next night after that. Right. So they're going to be dancing up here. So again, that's uh, those are our relatives. And then those stars that you see, if you have a clear night tonight and you see stars up there, those are our relatives as well. Uh, outside of their lodges, they say as the old people, they're making their fires outside because there was a time when uh, our relatives worried us because there was like people were looking outside and they're like, what the heck? There's no relatives over there there's no stars that are lighting up there's no there's no sign of them and then of course we was sent up there to go take a look what the heck's going on your lights are off you know they, you know so there's a story like that that are, that I'll share um uh but again it's the um the vastness and the 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 richness that we have uh in terms of being Cree people okay so these these three dialects that i'll focus on are, are uh, plains cree which is also known as y dialect okay so this one here the example that i have here me we thumb all right me we thumb that means he or she likes it or you can also use this one for something that's animate just like uh like I, we run dogs we run and then they're they're running and then they're barking their tails are wagging ah miwi tam atim right ah miwi tam isku miwi tam na pio miwi tam na pisis miwi tam so you can be specific okay so and then for swampy cree and you'll see the patterns here uh they'll say minui ni tam minui ni and minui ni tam Sorry, my H, I had to get rid of it because the, the H actually disappears in Swampy Cree. All right. So for those of you that are wanting to learn Swampy Cree, Minuini Tam. Okay. So it becomes kind of like a long sound. And then Midwidi Tam. Midwidi Tam is a TH dialect, which is also known as Woodland Cree, which is northern Saskatchewan and also going into Manitoba. All right. So again, those are uh, word sentences. And the reason why um, I think like we have to think in Cree somehow. All right. And, and my attempt is going to try to get everybody sort of uh, introduced into how we speak in word sentences. Right. In 
three words in English, we say it in this one word, right? So really, um, in the, if there's any uh, Star Trek fans out there, you know how Yoda talks? Uh, uh, that's how we talk. So miwitam uh, is actually a good thinking that person is doing, right? So we totally don't know what's happening or to who until the end of the word, usually, okay? So again, we'll, we'll explain sort of like uh, these word sentences, right? And it's a lot of da 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 right? And, and uh, we'll explain it as we, as we move along, okay? Now, I want to say, make sure you're, you're muted, okay? Because it'll get, uh, because there's so many of us, make sure uh, you're on mute, but I'm going to say these words. Okay, but I'm also going to explain why we use these words as we're going through. Okay, so uh, and also give examples of where the dialectal clues are. So uh, depending on where you're from. So we'll start out with this first one. And this is so interesting. Right? It is, when we started looking at the, the creed, uh, the way it's structured. So danse, danse. Danse, right? So that's how is everything? That's really what you're asking. It's not hello. It's not hi. The equivalent is we're very curious as Cree people. You know, we're like, how is everything? Right? We're trying to figure out. So it, it's one word, but we're really trying to figure out how things are. And then uh, it's not on here, but usually we'll say muinanto. Muinanto. Oh, actually, it is. It is. Sorry. Nothing in the translation of Muinanto is actually nothing's nothing's wrong. Don't bother it. Just leave it. Okay. Just the, don't ask. It's, it's just nothing's good. Nothing's bad. It's like right here. Nothing, you know. Uh, so it's all about balance. It's so cool. The, the, our culture is kind of funny in that way. So again, um, now when somebody comes in, that's the regular standard reading that I've that I hear, and then some communities they'll pronounce everything. Danese, danese, all right, danese. So you're asking uh, how everything is, and then you can collapse that I. And here people will say danse. You don't even hear that I. You read it and you you see it, but you collapse that I. Danse. Right, danse, and people are gonna ask on that first a. There's a really funny mark on top. Okay, there's a funny mark on this, and that's telling us it's a long a sound. So danse, right? Danse, danse. Now, when you have a visitor, when you have somebody that's gonna come visit you, and um, when things normalize, right, right, when we can have open face to face again, our usual standard, uh, like welcome, come in, is basically pihtigui, pihtigui. That means walk in, pihtigui. Okay, pihtigui. Oh, it's a special. It's so special to have a visitor, right? Pihtigui. Da wow, da wow. It's open. It's open. Come in. And then, so when somebody opens their home and they greet you like that, and uh, I saw it uh, spelt it a couple of different ways, but I, hi, right? I, hi. You'll always hear elders after they finish praying, they'll go, I, hi, right? And then I, I like this old, uh, well, I shouldn't call them old. They probably won't let me call them old, but. I, re I respect him. Uh, it was so cool the way he explained it. He said, I, hi. And then if you're really thankful, okay, and you got the best A treatment from your relatives after you go visit and you're thankful at the end, you say thank you. And you and if you're really thankful, you go, hi, 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 right? <laughs> so you just add the I, hi, 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 hi. And the, the, the happier, the better it is, uh, the more highs there are in that i hi 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 okay and uh uh i'll quote um 
na may nuhtaw iso ah um Jerry Saddleback for for that gift because uh when he would go visit elders right um they would uh they would be so happy to get a visitor and at the end the old ladies the old men they would go hi 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 right i remember him saying that so again when we when we go meet now right after we're saying thank you you know i'm, I'm glad to be here hi hi Uh, and then, uh, oh, it's been such a long time, right? It's been such a long time since we visited. So you say, oh, kayas, kayas, right? It's been a long time, kayas. And then um, and now you're interested back, okay? You're interested back in uh, to say, tansi guakia, right? In Y dialect, tansi guakia, tansi guakia. And then if you're in swampy territory, swampy Cree territory, uh, N dialect, you'll say Tansi Wagina. Tansi Wagina. Right? And then if you're north of where I am, you'll say Tansi Wagida. Tansi Wagida. Right? So again, uh, though that's the example. If there's uh, and it doesn't always work, if there's a Y, there's gonna be an N. It doesn't always work. Um, but in most cases, it does, uh, that pattern does work. So you're asking, well, what about you, right? How are you? And then again, here's the collapsing that happens. So now they're asking, how are you? And you say, Namuyananto. Namuyananto. And then if you collapse even more, you can uh, say it a little faster and you say, Muyananto. Muyananto. Or muinanto, muinanto. All right. Now this rule with namuya will work with the dialects. So you'll say namu nananto, namu the nanto. So that dialectal difference will work here. Okay. So on the kia, nia, wida, kina. So that the y. N and TH uh, will work in that. Now, what about you? Or, and you, I guess is the actual translation. Igwa is end, kia is you. Igwa right? You're asking back. Now you're translating your your shooting back questions back to well, what about you how, how is everything with you right kiyamaga what about you and then now here's the cool one and now this why will not work okay you have to say piaguan 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 mean means one like you so literally the same as you right piaguan or you can also, it has a kind of a double meaning because you've seen each other before, but it's been a long time because Kayas, right? Long time ago. We haven't seen each other for a long time ago. How are you? And then you'll say, Piaguan, the same as last time, right? Or the other meaning is the same as you. If they if they said, Muinanto, everything's good. And then you respond, Piaguan, just like you. We're like one, right? So again, um, practice these. I want you guys to practice these and put yourself in those situations where you just kind of feel safe to say it. Feel, uh, you know, um, put yourself in those scenarios where you just say, hey, Tansi, just rattle it off, right? Just uh, take that step and just say, Tansi, oh, Pihtigwe, oh, Tawau, hi, hi, ho, Kayas. Tansi wagia. Ah, muinanto. Ah, wagia. Ah, kiemaga. Ah, pia guan. Right? So these are usable full sentences. They look like small little sentences, but that's the background of how uh, beautiful the culture is and how we, how we can speak the language with each other. Okay? Now, for the linguists and teachers out there, okay, here's something that's really cool, okay. 
Um, and again, you have books available that are out there like this. And I want to uh, sh big shout out to Solomon Rat for creating books like this, uh, Beginning Cree. Those are books that you can look out um, and you can Google. Uh, there's also a, a really beautiful website that I always um, uh, reference in all of my classes, and that's illiteracy.org. Um, take a look at that as well. So again, these are uh, available. Um, and then also you can upload an, a Cree app and um, you should see how phenomenal that Cree app has standardized our language um, so we can start writing it just like the way we're, we're looking at it here, okay? Now, um, we have these, uh, these command words and uh, it, it's again, in, in the prayer that I had, um, I understand that we were given this language from the elders. They said we were given this language from the creator for us to use in a good way, right? Medini, to, to come out using, uh, to speak. And Medini is your tongue, okay? Medini. Medini is your tongue and it's connected to Midi, Midi. So when we speak Cree, when we sing Cree, when we use uh, the grandfather wind to speak and to communicate, we're actually, uh, that tongue is an extension of the heart. So Midi, all right? So that's why it's very precise. It's very like, um, in one of the books I was reading, I'm like, okay, uh, we have we come up with a word for plane right a plane and, and it's something that flies but it's a made up thing and it's like uh bim how is the bird is flying or that thing is flying but a plane is man made so you put gun on there so bim how is flying and then bim ha gun is the thing that's flying that's man made Right, so so there's new words that you can constantly make. So theoretically, we should be able to to talk about everything and like all these lights and um, the these tablets that we use, these phones that we use. Theoretically, uh, we should be able to name absolutely everything. Okay, so now the way this is structured, and I thought about this for a very long time. Nsto. So you know biak is one. Niso is two. And nsto is three. I didn't make up the rules. I didn't make up um you know somebody somewhere down the line back back in the day, wherever they started figuring out patterns. And there's three modes. And the reason I use sweet grass here is because in sto. It's nsto uh, bigatig, meaning it's braided in three. Okay. Now, common sense with these little ones. Okay. And I'll, I'll give an example with this one. So everybody make um, everybody make a, a a floor with your arm. Okay. Everybody make your make a floor. Okay. And then you're gonna have this two legged. Okay. And this two-legged is actually going to be maybe sitting like this. Let this, let this two-legged sit, okay? So I'm going to uh, tell this two-legged what to do, okay? So uh, what you want to do is uh, a pe is sit, a pe. Pasegu is stand, a pe. Pasigo. Ape. Pasigo. Pimu ti. Pimu ti. Pimu ti. Nagi. Asi ti. Asi ti. Asi ti. Nagi. Ape. Nipawe. Pimu ti. Pimu 
te pemurti nagi asi te asi te asi te nagi ape all right that's that's so easy and you can do that with the little ones right they're un they start understanding this pemurti pemurti and when i was um when i had my first little one um I was speaking Cree to her and she could understand and she was talking back to me and I, I could see her, you know, I could hear, hear her and see her understanding. And it was uh, my first one. It was by herself. It was Pimuti, Pimuti, one ska, one ska, wake up, right? Wake up, one ska, right? So this movement would be, oh, one ska, right? Uh, Samatape, it could be possibly sitting up, right? Sitting up. Nipa we or pasagu, bimuhti, bimuhti. And then without me saying, uh, and I uh, I did this on purpose, I said, asihti. And we started walking backwards. And then ape, nipo. You can also start doing this and think of this every day. Every day we do this. We wake up. We get up, we put on our clothes, right? Ustay winsi, pusta sigani, pustasi, pusta pugani, pusta sagi, right? Pust, pust, pust. And then, uh, so those are putting on your clothes and you're talking to one person, right? And you can talk to yourself, talk to yourself. If you don't have anybody to to tell, if you don't have a little one to, to say, oh, stand up. And then, of course, all of us eat, right? All of us eat. So this is mitsu, mitsu, okay? So ape, pasigu, bimuhti, ape, right? Mitsu, mitsu. We'll go through these all, 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 and using our hands, using our hands. Um, the next one, the next way we talk is um, using these same examples is called independent mode. So the reason why I put these on is because there are so many different learners out here in in all of our communities, you know? So the, I, I put these on there, but it, the, I want to explain it this way because it's so amazing. And I didn't make up the language. It was creator that uh, gave us this way to talk, but independent mode is how they they talk about it, but it's niwaniskan. Newaniskan, which means uh, uh, ne is me, one ska is wake up, and at the end, uh, gan, when you hear that, is I wake up, I am. That's what you're literally saying. Newaniskan, I am waking up. So if you look at that story, uh, if you look at that word, that sentence, that word sentence, what we're doing with language learning is we're waking up our spirit because this is a, a language of spirit it has spirit that's why it's it's always like we have to be very careful not to talk bad about each other not to not to talk about each other in a negative way but to talk in light right um to pray excuse me sir uh, yeah no, i'm sorry i'm so sorry to interrupt you i just noticed a lot of people in the chat were asking um if you could write or or tell us how to spell the words for wake up sit stand walk walk backwards oh yes um now uh here's um i can yes we will i guess we will uh if, if that's uh if there's requests uh for that um because there's so many different types of learners all right. So again, uh, lots of people that is like no takes, no takers, and then there's some that'll pick this up right away. Um, so again, th this is just all respect of all the different learning styles out there. So thank you for that. Um, uh, and then uh, so again, uh, you So you are walking. You walk. You are. Again, um, I don't know why we talk like you, or Yoda talks like us. I'm always saying, I don't know why Yoda talks like, he talks like us. The last one, and this is, you're going to find this, and I use this and I always put this last. 
the very fluent speakers and in, in like if you have the um if you get to hang out with very fluent speakers you'll always hear this when you're listening you don't uh, you're like e e e that's what you hear that's how they speak and they're speaking in this e conjunct or subjunctive mode so uh, the first one is commands so if you think of a child just like these little children that are that are logging on right and just like us as uh, adults learning this language, we're, we're just starting out, okay? We're starting out. So commands is a very good place to start, to start commanding. And then all of a sudden, it's just not singular, but then you pluralize it because there's, could be two of them, could be five of them, it could be 300 of us, right? So, but I always start, start out with just like you're talking to one person. The last one, the subjunctive mode, or the e conjunct mode is e asitian e asitian so i am walking backwards right ini poian i am standing all right e pasuguian i am standing or ini poian there's two ways of saying uh, walking or standing i should say but um that's the, uh, the three ways, the three modes. And I, uh, it was kind of like one of those aha moments when it's like a lighting sweet grass. And I'm like, oh man, you know, there's three modes and this is, the, this is the way we talk. So the development is knowing the commands first. And then secondly, uh, you start picking up the independent mode. And then thirdly uh, is the e-conjunct. Okay, so... Um, let me throw up the uh, chat. Okay, so wake up. One ska. Okay, that's wake up. Uh, sit. Up. Oh, just wait here. Up. Always wanting to capitalize on me. Up is sit. Okay. Uh, Pasigo. And I'm going to uh, capitalize on me. Pasigo is stand up. Oh, geez, Miranda. I was just uh, I was just sending it to you. Sorry. Uh, thank you for that. Um, okay, I'm going to cut and copy. Okay. One ska. There it is. And then up there. <clears throat> up there is there. And then Pasigo. All right. And then Pimuhti. Pimuhti is spelled like this. All right. And then backwards walking is Asiti. All right. So Pimuhti, Asiti. Um, I think we used Nagi as well. I'm just going to put that in there. Okay, Nagi. And I like this word because it, you're starting to see uh, our First Nations starting to use stop. So Nagi, Nagi. All right. So Pimuhti, Nagi, Asihti, Nagi. Pimuhti, Nagi, asihti, nagi, ape, pasigo. All right. Okay. Next one now. Next that one out. Okay. So next one is this one. All right. So a full question, and this is something that you can possibly ask if you want some repetition. And again, this is like something that uh, I had to go through as a second language learner, right? I was trying to learn how to say, uh, where is the washroom in Spanish? And I was like, donde baño, right? <laughs> so for our, our person that's logging in from the States, donde baño? So, tan tuan bathroom, tanihiawin, right? So again, tan se how kai is uh, how would you say blank in Cree? 
tan sekai tuan a cup tani hiawian tani hiawin sorry tani hiawin a tan se a let's see sweet grass or tan sekai tuan sweet grass tani hiawin um tan se kai tuan book tani hiawin tan se kai tuan hat tani hiawin tan se kai tuan chair tani hiawin okay so again these are it's a it's an actual question that you can use um to ask how would you say this in cree how do you say this in cree how would you say this headlamp uh right how would you say that to speak satan cree so it's usable right so you can you can totally use this now <clears throat> this is syllabics and we'll cover some of this as well all right i'm gonna attempt this craziness right uh, i'm gonna try to teach syllabics let's try this and um we'll cover this and this is like uh so beautiful this chart and i took i borrowed this from nishtao uh carl quinn and see if you guys can I'll maybe upload some of his songs too. He's got some CDs and to uh, Wayne Jackson. He's got some nice songs out there. Um, Nemis uh, Dolores Sand. If you guys are really into uh, Elvis, she sings Nanampain is her definite classic. My, my all time favorite, but there's songs. And then you can also Google uh, um, Brian McDonald. Right, Brian McDonald has some really good songs, uh, and there's a one very classic song that goes, uh, "Hello, hello, dance, dance, how are you? How are you, dance gear, dance gear? I am fine, I am fine, Moenanto." Right, so that it's a real catchy tune. And it's really easy to pick up. So I, I would uh, just recommend those ones there. If somebody can put those on the chat, uh, that would be great. All right. So um, uh, so I'm just trying to be cognizant of, of time here. Now, this one here, we're going to sing. Okay. We're all going to sing. And um, this is a song that um, was shared. And I think, uh, again, it was uh, so it was just, uh, a, such a good song that he had um, but we want to just keep it going because it, it helps the um, the vocal cords but it also uh, somebody had said like that K sounds like a G like a G, G sound same thing with the T sound it's more like in between a D and a T it's like D, D, D. so let's say these are your teeth okay and then here's your tongue and you're putting, you're just touching the tip of your tongue, the, 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 all right? So, and then if you don't have teeth, and if you're kukum, uh, don't have teeth, you touch your gums. Da, da, da. <laughs> all right, I better not talk teeth, kukum, teeth. All right, anyway, here's the song, all right? All seriousness now. I can't be fooling around here in pre class, eh? Okay, so, uh, the song is really easy and it's kind of uh, um and let's say let's do this try this if you're not logged in with your uh computer or whatever device if you have a phone click on your phone to record okay and then learn this song because it comes with um uh how to pronounce right so i would say open up uh, something that you can record but then you also have a recording of this anyways that will be available somewhere. But it, it sounds like this, okay? Uh, 
kake ki ko mama mi mo na na ni no ta che chi cho ya ye yo so again we're going to repeat it a e i o pa pa pi po Ta te ti to sa se si so ka ke ki ko ma ma mi mo na na ni no cha che chi cho ya ye yi yo Okay, now what I want you to do is Sing in your space like nobody is watching or listening. Okay? We have to get to that spot. All right? So we're going to sing this two more times. Okay? Please try this. See what happens to your spirit. See what happens up here. Okay? In, in the brain and the whole body. Okay? So we'll sing it two more times. A e i o pa pa pi po ta te ti to sa se si so ga ke ki ko ma ma mi mo na na ni no cha che chi cho ya ye yo Piago, cap it. One more time. A e i o pa pa pi po ta te ti to sa se si so ka ke ki ko ma ma mi mo na na ni no. Ta te ti to ya ye yi yo. All right. Perfect. Thank you for that. So again, <clears throat> you can always go back to this and try to pronounce and enunciate and also get the tone and how to say the proper ba, da, ga. Those are usually the, the, the ones um, that are really hard. Uh, and then the other one is you see the CA, the CE with the macron or the circumflex. And uh, the C sounds like t, 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 all right? Like the CH, all right? So it's t, 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 right? So repeat. Kevin? And, yes. Um, when you're showing us stuff at the end, can you show us? Because we can't see you because you're presenting. Oh, really? Yeah, when it's in presentation mode, we can't see you. Oh, oh okay, okay. That's all right. You don't want to see me anyway. You wanna, I want to focus on the way. I, 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 I can see you. I can see, see you. Okay. Okay. He's all right. probably on a different screen. I can here. see him. I can see him. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, then it's just me. Okay, sorry. If you go to the top right of your screen, you can... Click on view and change your view and that should fix it. All right. Thank you for that. Yeah. All right. So uh, I don't have the the clock on mine. How much time do we have right now? So I'm just trying to figure out uh, how We've fast. got five minutes left. Uh, yeah. Okay. Five minutes. Okay. Let's go to this. Uh, this is pretty good right here. Then we're in good time. All right. So the easiest way that I can say who I am is I can say Kevin Nia. Okay. Kevin Nia. And then Diane would say, ah, oh, Diane Nia. Right. And then of course, um, you know, everybody, you would say your first name. Uh, and the, here's where your dialectal difference can, you'll, you'll show people, you'll, they'll hear, you'll say Nina or Nida. Right. So if you're in Northern Saskatchewan, you'd say Nida. If you're in Manitoba area, you'd say Nina or Eastern Saskatchewan. Okay. And then this long, big mouthpiece of a word is Mstukskawaisi. Right. That means Minnesticwin is where I'm from. So you can say 
uh, Calgary uhtse, um, Grand Prairie uhtse, uh, Saskatoon uhtse, Regina uhtse, Mexico uhtse, New Mexico, Texas uhtse, right? So you can so you can you put where you're from uhtse, okay? Uhtse, blank uhtse. You want to state the obvious? Here's uh, look at how it's such a nice, beautiful night out uh, here. Anyways, I shouldn't say in Winnipeg because I just talked to somebody from out there. But um, just as long as you're off the road, mu tipskau uma, mu tipskau uma. It's a good evening or it's a good night right now. Right now, it's a good good night. And then if you have, a, if you want to say it's a good day. All you have to change is gisegao, miu gisegao uma. So that's daytime, but it's nighttime right now. So you'll say miu tipskao uma. It's a good night. Right? It's a good evening. Okay. Daytime miu gisegao. All right. Minu gisegao, midu gisegao. All right. Now, uh, something I want you guys to constantly try to say is this last word uh, uh, everything uh, everything i want you guys to say but this one is so beautiful and if it can roll out uh it's a very good day to speak Cree. it's a good day to speak Cree today right so miwasun so uh, again, uh, one last time. So again, it's a it's such a uh, a good uh, four good sentences right there, right? And it's a just try to practice and practice and practice, right? And again, you're always meeting and greeting people. So uh, again, this is a YouTube video. Um, with our immersion kids using puppets. Uh, so I, I want to try something. I want to try like a, I'm always saying somebody needs to create a YouTube video and you got to say these sentences. And I think uh, we better do that. We better do that with this and we better do that for all of our languages. But even just the puppets are enjoyable. doesn't matter how old you are. Right? You look at puppets, you're like, what? You know? So again, um, I want to say, get the thumbs up now. Uh, I want to greet all of you. And I want to greet all of you in this evening. And then uh, there's uh, my email. Um, if there's like a real, real like question that you really, really need, you can probably contact me like that or else uh, uh, Facebook. Um, you know, that's always really nice. But I'm going to send this to Diane and she'll be able to um, share it with people. Anybody that wants that, um, uh, the PowerPoints, you know, I think uh, we need to communally um, learn the language like we are. And again, uh, could, at the end, did you see that is that's it for now? Or uh, we don't have a goodbye. In Cree, we don't have a goodbye. We have, we'll see you later, and we're going to see you again. Our spirits are going to see each other again, right? So, again, we, it's so cool. Uh, and make it up. These are just uh, things that are taught to us, and uh, we need to make them uh, common knowledge again, right? We need to make them where everybody understands these teachings again. And I'm so happy. Please come back, um, and we'll see you guys the same time next week all right and uh practice 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 um put yourself in those positions feel safe to listen to the and to speak remember there's a lot of our relatives that uh, weren't allowed to speak this language look at how 180 we're we're zooming in and we're speaking so hi 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 right <laughs> 300 hi highs you know, that's so beautiful.
if if I may, um, I just wanted to quickly say I've created a Discord for everyone if they want to practice with each other and share uh, anything they've learned in class. So you please, everyone, if you're interested in speaking with each other on the Discord, look in the chat and there's the link there. Thank you for that. Yeah, thank you. Kevin? Um, yeah, I was just going to say, I mean, I know we're 801, we're a minute over. I, Kevin, I, I want to be mindful and, and respectful of your time. I know we've only got you for the hour. So if there are questions, would the best way, I think we could go on forever just with how large of a group um, has joined this evening. And uh, I'm wondering if there are some questions. Uh, I'll keep the chat open for however long. It, would that be a better way for you to address questions or what, what's your thoughts on this? I have no idea, right? We're just learning as we go. And so like, let's keep it organic. Like this court just happened, right? So it's kind of like, wow, that's another avenue that we've never, I've never um, even thought about that. But wow, you know, let's just use technology um let's communicate that way um um keep it organic hello yeah hello um i was just wondering um is there like i'm new to zoom and i was wondering if um is there a way i could watch this this like again like after it's done since it's recorded hi cecilia i think the best way for us just because i i don't have everybody's email as it was an open zoom link but what i think i'm going to do is i'm going to talk to our tech team about trying to upload these into a youtube and making them accessible on our high prairie school division website so that's i think going to be our best uh way to communicate all this so if you want to just go to high prairie um school division.ca that's where I'm going to try to have okay. our tech put them. But you might work too in Google Classrooms. Yes, I'll I'll look into whatever options we have. I think with the Google Classroom, everybody has to be invited individually. Though is my understanding of it. So I'm going to see uh, through our tech support what the best way to house these recordings so that everybody can access them. And we're also going to collect the chat. We're not going to log off until we collect the chat because there's some great resources in there. So um, I, I, Kevin, Nananas Compton, I so thankful this is my cheeks are hurting because i'm smiling i've been just smiling this whole time this has been a great session i can't believe the the turnout and i'm so pleased so yeah, it has been. it's exciting and we're going to meet here every tuesday uh until the last one is march 29th so same time same place same meeting link so awesome thanks. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, this was a great class. Thank you. Oh, Hi, thank you. Yeah. And thank you for hi. your time, guys. Oh. Hi. Thank you. Hi, hi. Hi, hi. Diane, I have a quick question. Do you have, like, um, will this, if you put the YouTube on your, like, website, your High Prairie website, will you also, like, do you have um, Twitter, anything like that? We do. We've got an Instagram, we've got Facebook, we've got Twitter. Um, so we'll, we'll try to do everything in our power to, to utilize technology to bring this to everybody. Okay. Yeah. Just because I did find Kevin, I think he's Islander, the Islander, I think on Twitter, right? Hopefully that was the right one, Kevin, that I found. So I did tweet it out. And as we're going, continue to tweet it out. I just wasn't sure of um, the school division at first because I heard Prairie something because I'm from Saskatchewan. So I'm like, where is that? So um, I'll look for high, high Prairie School Division. Absolutely. Okay. And then and I'll do an at with that. Just, just to kind of get it out there too. Absolutely. Okay. Yes. I have a quick question. Hi, um, I have a question uh, for, I guess for both of you guys, like what would your, what would the protocol be if say I wanted, I'm a teacher 
and we do this thing where we have like a live class that well ugh, it's like living history so like what would be the protocol if I wanted to say um have him teach like a quick the same hour class to like my students Kevin I'll let you jump in on that one I think you might be you're referring to having um Kevin come into your class well virtual this is in uh my I'm in Louisiana so this would be virtual <laughs> wow <laughs> oh, well, it, minus 30 up here uh, I might take you up you'll have to fly me down there <laughs> no, just, just kidding <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'll have to just see about that because of her timing wise, like it, um, uh, like, yeah, just maybe just do an invite to um, see what time or when and if it's uh, feasible, then we can possibly do it. But, um, but with this said, this is going to be recorded. So people can, I'm, you can use this, right? Just use it to, to promote our language in, in that good way. And make sure the little ones are speaking Cree, right? Can you hear it? Great. Can you hear it all? Um, up north, it's Nihiwito. Uh, around this area, can you hear it? Uh, can you know it? Can you hear it all? Um, so those type of things. Um, just use these recordings. Uh, they're about one hour, right? Um, and there's, we'll try to make it exciting. We'll try to mix it up, right? It's not going to be the same thing all the time. I'll throw a little bit of stories here and there, but um, yeah, uh, look that up. That, that's